What up, though? How y'all feeling? Everybody good? It's your man, your friend, and family member, Brain Lee here. Everything on this channel is alleged in my opinions for entertainment purposes only. Everything on this channel is alleged in my opinions for entertainment purposes only. One more time for the one more time. Everything on this channel is alleged in my opinions for entertainment purposes only. So, y'all, listen. Yesterday, um, I was on about, you know, spending time with my mom. Got to really catch up with her and, um... Man, God is amazing. That's all I can say. But anyway, that's why I um, really wasn't, you know, doing any videos or anything. I did two virtual tour live meetups, one at 6.30, one at 8.30. We had a great time in both. And, you know, I just got to tell y'all something. <laughs> Child, area, come closer. Come closer. Come to nephew. Come to nephew. Come to nephew. Come to nephew. Can you hear me? Okay, can you hear me? Listen. This hot air balloon ride that you are fueling, you know, eventually you're going to run out of, you know, helium or, you know, the gas. or Y'all you, you know why I mean. Whatever is the hot air that you're fueling right now for this ride you're eventually going to have to come down. Child, I, I can't. So, y'all, she did a live yesterday basically just saying that, you know, oh, my God, that she played, you know, original straight no chaser, right? That she played original straight no chaser. I'm just like, how did you play her? And people asked her that, and she could not give a response. And my thing is this. You committed to a crime on a tape, right? And then she says, you know, the Eminem kids are disrespectful. Well, I'm, well, honestly, I feel like you probably disrespect them because you don't really care. Because you really don't care about doing the right thing to anybody except yourself. And it's just like, to use kids to get your way, you you really have a very limited vocabulary. But I mean, the apple doesn't fall too far from the tree. I mean, when you have a hotel who is a whole hotel building going through any every floor to do what he wants to do. All right, all right, I'll get the next key car. I'll let you in the room. Child, I can't. This is just this this is just sad. And not to mention, too, I said this on Tea Talk with Your Girls um, panel, by the way, shout out to her. You know, I said that is so sad that in the future, you know, her kids are not going to have opportunities and Mark and Hotel's kids are not going to have opportunities because of their last name. Because of the decisions that y'all making now. Yesterday I talked about the um, I talked about consequences in the daily motivational thought in Brainly's virtual tour live, and it really just it really said a lot to me. And so let me see, because I think you can go back to the daily motivational thought, and so I'm gonna pull that up right now with you guys to see if I can read it to y'all again because 
it was quite a powerful, powerful thought. Let me see here. Hang on. Yeah, living the consequences. This was yesterday's daily motivational thought. But check this out. What you've been doing got you to where you are. What you do now can either keep you there or take you somewhere else. Right now, you are living the consequences of your past choices. That puts you in an ideal position to decide and act upon what your future consequences will be. You have gained valuable expertise on which habits and patterns bring you genuine fulfillment and which ones end up wasting your time or worse. Now you have the opportunity to act on that expertise and experience. It's easy to know what you've been feeling like doing the moment and what you don't feel like doing. But that's not always the best basis for choosing among your options. Fortunately, you have a lifetime of experiencing consequences, the consequences of your own choices. With every new choice, you can take more of those consequences into consideration. Very soon, you'll be living the consequences of whatever you decide to do right now based on the knowledge of all your past and present consequences. Ask yourself what that decision will be, Ralph Morrison. That was yesterday's motivational thought about consequences. And you are really just doing what you want to do selfishly. And guess what? Being selfish has consequences. Now, of course, we all know there's a difference between being selfish for yourself and selfish on behalf of others. You are being selfish on behalf of others. That's why Melody said to Hotel, make sure you feed my kids steak and eggs because we don't like we don't like popsicles in the morning. <laughs> and you get upset about people asking you to stop talking about people's kids and you'll do, and you'll block them. Right? But yet you can talk about Melody's kids and you think that's okay? No, 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 no. No. So eventually this hot air <laughs> that you're feeling for your ride is eventually going to ride out. Um, you know, run out rather. And I don't know what you're going to do. And you know what? I'm just curious. What happens when you run out of air for a hot air so here's the thing right so I just looked this up right now now you probably wouldn't now Brandon why did you have to look that up Listen, we like to do facts out of here, okay? So if a hot air balloon runs out of gas, it slowly be, it's, it'll slowly begin descending. That's because the balloon only generates lift through burning fuel to heat the air in the envelope. Lack of regular heating leads the air inside the balloon to gradually cool, reducing the altitude and process. So... <laughs> That's what happens. So that's according to Napa Olaf. Now, Kiora, which is like a question and answer website. Okay. <laughs> this is what um, this is what they're saying. That uh, Brian Harville, a former pilot and instructor, author of Practical Ballooning, author has one thousand answers and four million three hundred thousand answer views. Hot air balloons will descend like a rapidly falling parachute if they run out of fuel. So, I'm telling you right now, you have been on this hot air balloon ride, and you don't realize how high up you're going, but I promise you, the fall is not going to be pretty, and I don't feel bad for you, I really don't. And the crazy thing is, is like you said on tape, you don't know how many people you share the tape with and that your sister watched it or you watched it with your sister. Like, I, 
it amazes me because people who say that they don't care about somebody execute that. They don't have a tantrum like a brat. And honestly, you and Hotel basically are a prince and princess just doing anything that you want to do. Melody is a queen doing what she needs to do. So guess what? This hot air balloon ride is going to be a horrible, horrible um, descent. And I just, I, 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 I can't. I just can't. So it, it's just, ooh, not to mention, check this out, y'all. It says, um, lack of fuel. The fuel tanks have gauges so that the pilot is aware of the fuel remain. However, flight conditions can force a pilot to exhaust the fuel supply. Examples are flying in the middle of a hot day. Glider, both gliders and balloons are picked up by thermals, and the balloon pilot may use the available fuel to make fertile attempts to land. Another situation is where the flight has been extended to avoid extreme hazard. Balloons have been known to track high tension power lines. It's very discouraging when the power line changes direction, the balloon tracks to change. Enough fuel has to be left to allow the pilot to find the wind currents to pull away the balloon to avoid potential collision from a power line. Those power lines that you are trying to avoid, guess what? You, you're running into power lines. Those power lines are of truth, and that's all of us. Child, this hot air balloon rise eventually going to end. And I, I just, whoo, child, I, I can't, I can't. Oh, and by the way, if you do take Arion and you flip around A-R-I, it's air. <laughs> so, Arion Curry, the air that you've been putting in the air for this hot air balloon ride, please understand your rapid descent is about to start and you're not going to be able to handle the fall. That's all I got to say, y'all. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. This has been another edition of Brainly's Virtual Tour Pit Stop. One love, much love, all love. Bye, everybody. Something I could do I could be running or I'm chasing you But I won't Cause I got better, better things to do Rather spend my precious time Chasing somebody who loves me too If I got a dollar for Every time you slam the door I would be the richest girl alive Life, life If you hadn't run away Every time I asked you stay You would sleep right next to me tonight No, you didn't know me Or you wanted That was a game to play Your mind tricks and your side tricks
Again.